What's going on guys? It's the Beastly Gamer here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about PlayStation VR. Probably the thing I'm most excited about this entire year has been PlayStation VR. It's something that I've played, something that I've seen and experienced, and I can tell you unequivocally that it is a game changer, literally. There's really nothing like it. Uh, I've heard some people say that the, the love or the desire to play games in VR is dying down. It's only been ramping up for me uh, up until the release of PlayStation VR, so I'm really excited. At Tokyo Game Show, Sony did show something new with PlayStation VR, a new way to integrate it into your everyday life that I thought was really, really cool, and I wanted to talk to you guys about it now. I'll drop a link in the description. Sony brings your phone into PlayStation VR with Anywhere VR. Sony is set to bring your smartphone into VR for the first time with PlayStation VR, offering you supreme relaxation, really. The company's music division, Sony Music Entertainment, today announced a new relaxation app for its upcoming headset during Tokyo Game Show 2016 press conference named Anywhere VR. The experience impressively projects your phone's display inside an immersive environment, allowing you to check messages and apps without having to remove PlayStation VR. A brief trailer revealed the project on stage showing a woman getting home from work, putting on her PSVR unit, and finding herself in a picturesque environment with relaxing background music. She then grabs her phone in the real world, which brings up the display in the virtual environment that mirrors her device. According to the trailer, users will be able to talk to friends, use apps like Twitter, and play mini games inside the piece. It's not yet known if all smartphone apps will be supported in the app or only specific selections, though the trailer suggests the latter. To be clear, the footage didn't seem to suggest that the app would fully replicate your phone's look and position in VR. It was simply a holographic projection of the owner's handset in a VR environment. It will be interesting to see if this presents any navigational issues for users. Judging by the trailer, the experience works with Sony branded smartphones, yay, though the company is yet to confirm exactly which handsets might support it. Sony Music also hasn't confirmed if it will actually release outside of Japan though it's certainly something we'd be interested in trying for ourselves. In fact, it might be the first time that PlayStation 4 itself has connected to phones in this way. PlayStation VR isn't the first headset to integrate with user smartphones. HTC Vive also allows access to handsets when in VR to make sure you don't miss calls or text. Anywhere VR doesn't have a release date just yet, though PlayStation VR is set to launch around the world on October 13th. This is something I could definitely get into because I do have the Sony Xperia phone. Uh, I love the whole idea of VR. <laughs> to me, I mean, if you haven't played it, then you it's, I can't really explain it to you, but here's the problem with VR. If you put a headset on and you've got something covering your ears and something covering your eyes, if someone's trying to talk to you, someone's knocking on your door, if your phone is ringing, if anything is happening, you got a kid burning in the kitchen, you won't know it because you're in this lush tropical uh, world, you know, hula dancing. In VR, so you don't really know what's going on. With this kind of immersion and bringing your phone into the VR experience, it can kind of break that immersion in a way that's not really jarring because you might be playing some kind of crazy game like Resident Evil 7 and then someone actually grabs you because you need to take the trash out and you might swing and knock the, somebody's tooth out because you're playing a game and there's somebody crazy chasing you. So a little pop-up like maybe in the corner or something like that that allows you to interface with it so you can see if someone's calling you, you get a text message, something crazy is happening on Twitter. I think it's a great idea and Sony needs to definitely integrate all phones, every phone that they can, not just Sony phones because Sony's phones, uh, to be quite honest, aren't doing that well. You know, they make great phones, the cameras are amazing, but they don't sell like HTC phones, they don't sell like Apple phones, they sell like Sony products. And I'm talking about TVs and computers. They're not the best out there, but they're pretty damn good when it comes to what they're good at. Uh, I think this whole idea is good. I think Sony is moving in the right direction. I hope that everything works out well uh, come November and come October uh, with PS Pro and with the VR. I hope the VR sells as crazy as I think it will. You guys let me know in the comment section below. Would you be interested in using Anywhere VR? I think it's a great idea and I want to see this come to the West. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer and I'll see you guys next time.